Welcome back to the Garden Diva. Okay, we've come in from the garden where we've picked the stevia, and you gave us some great tips to pick early in the morning so it doesn't stress out the plant, and that the smaller leaves are the sweetest leaves. So where do we go from here? Well, most people, when they come in from the garden with herbs, they want to wash them. Mm -hmm. Last night we had a really good rain. And unless you're picking from herbs that are close to the bottom where the mud might splash on them, they're fine. So last night we had a good rain. If you do feel that you need to wash them, you need to make sure that you lay them between paper towels and you pat them dry really, really well okay. before you do anything else with them. I like to just dry my herbs naturally just with air. I don't have a dehydrator or anything. Um, so what I do is once I, I know that they're clean, um, what I do is I just put them on a paper plate simply and just spread them out. Yeah, and here you'll see some that I did a couple of days ago, and you'll see they're not quite dry. They're starting to they're dry. They're getting there. Yeah, they're not quite dry. And basically, what I do is I just leave them on the microwave. So what you want to do is you want to put them out of direct sunlight, and you don't want to put them anywhere near the stove where you'll have steam coming in off the the food that you're cooking. So that way they'll have ample time to dry. Mm -hmm. And you let them dry completely. That's very, very important. Because if you don't let them dry completely and you seal them up, they're going to mold. Mm -hmm. And this is not good. So what you do, um, once they're completely dry, um, is I like to store mine in like a glass jar or an, somewhere. An air sealed container yeah. of some kind. Yeah. And what I do is I go ahead and I crumble them up mm -hmm. and so that they're ready to go. And as you see, it's it's thin. It is. Yeah, and it doesn't take much to do that. It just so, looks like any kind of tea leaf or anything mm -hmm. else that you've dried. Right, mm -hmm. right. And it is like any other tea leaf. Um, the difference is it doesn't have very much flavor in it. Instead, it has the sweetness, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Mm -hmm. So to make good southern tea with stevia, what I do is... Um, is I like to do my tea in a teapot. Some people use a pot on the stove or anything like that. And what I do is just go by how you normally make tea. Everybody's got their own way. It's kind of like making biscuits. Everybody's got their own their way own of recipe. making southern tea. Yeah. <laughs> so this is what I do is I put my tea bags in here. So I'm going to make a gallon of tea. So what I want to do is get a large tea ball. Mm -hmm. Now they come in different sizes, so if you only make a half a gallon, you won't need quite as much. Um, and you can find these anywhere? M mostly in cooking stores. Okay. Look in the cooking department. You can also find them online okay. as well. And this will be one of the items that we'll have in our gift store oh, good. online. Anything that you'll need to make tea. So what I do is I just gather it up and I just load up the tea ball. Load it up as much as I can get in there. And then basically, I just drop it in the teapot. All at the, the tea same bags. time. The tea just, bags and the just drop it in there. The herbs all together. Yeah. So uh, I boil the water like normal, and I take it out. And as long as I leave my tea bags in there, I leave the stevia too. Okay. Now um, another thing that you can do um, with the stevia is you can also um, sweeten up lemonade without losing so much sugar. You know, a lot of times you have to use equal amounts sugar in lemon juice when you make lemonade. Yes. That's a lot of sugar. Yes, it is a lot of sugar. Yeah. So what I like to do is I make sugar water with the stevia, mm -hmm. basically. So what I do is I do the same process, I just don't put tea bags. So you're boiling the water and the stevia leaves, mm -hmm. the same, and you're making a syrup, basically. Yeah. yeah, and it's just a sweetened water is what it is. So once it's cool, then I put it in my pitcher, I'll put half the sugar that I normally put. Mm -hmm. And then once I do that, put my lemon juice and uh, finish it off with water. So you're still getting sugar. Now those um, people that are doing without sugar and they're used to it not being so sweet, you really don't have to add the sugar. Same thing with the tea. People that are getting away from it and they just they like it lightly sweetened, then don't add the sugar at all. That's even better. You could probably wean yourself away from having any sugar yeah. if you just tried it a little bit at a time. Yeah. One of the things that I want to mention, you'll notice when you look at the lemonade, it has a little darker color mm -hmm. than a regular lemonade would mm -hmm. Remember that when you're using the stevia to make that sugar water, um, it, the stevia leaf itself has a tint to it. So when you 
boil it in water, it's going to have a tint to okay. it. Okay, well, I actually did wonder why that was a little bit odd colored. That's good to know. Yeah, I think it adds a little color to it. It looks nice anyway. You could so. stick strawberries, all kinds of things mm -hmm. in there and give it all kinds of color. But let's, yeah. let's go have some. Okay. All right. Sounds good. <laughs>